Exactly. We have only one body, and we give it to everybody to feed it. But the people who feed the, our bodies, they don't care about us. The food that they prepare is very cheap. Uh, uh, they will also buy cheaper items in order for them to make profit. But we make straight the juice the way it comes from the sugar cane. Most people don't make the correlation between what you eat and how you think and i'm gonna just give you a quick a quick little sort of a, a breakdown if your heart's an organ your liver is an organ your kidney's an organ it's not that far-fetched to understand that your brain is an organ too because if you eat affects the way how those organs work how you eat will affect the way your brain works and part of what your brain does as an organ is to think and how we think one of the very duty, many, many duties of that is to control our actions. So how you eat affects the way you think, how you think affects the way you act. So change the way you eat, change the way you act. And change the way you act, you change everything. It is waiting for you. Ah, that's the sugar right there, guys. Sugar cane juice and the, 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 the sugar, sugar that you, itself yeah because i tasted it i'm like man i think this is a little too sweet and um brody was like it's, it's natural I'm like, the thing about it is this i'm trying to be natural right from a biological perspective let's kind of break it down a little bit well from a chemical perspective really any stalk of sugar cane that you see sugar cane 85 percent of cane is water 15 percent of it is soluble sugars now let's go to the biological aspect of the brain or the body itself. The central part of your nervous system is made up of your brain and your spinal cord. That's the central part of your nervous system. Now, there is something that's called cerebral spinal fluids. Guess what that's made up of? Salt, sugar, and other proteins that's metabolized in the body. So our brain needs sugar, but it's the right sugar that it needs. You understand what I'm saying? So that it can function at optimal efficiency. So this is the exact water to sugar correlation that the Creator has made so that we can ingest it where it doesn't spike the internal levels. It's not refined, it's not processed. So you get all the nutrients that's supposed to be in there. When you get sugar crystals, it's squeezed sugar cane that they take and then they boil it. We know when we boil things what happens for the most part in situations like this. One, it becomes more acidic and two, it loses all its nutritional content. So yes, it's being sweet, but there's no nutritional value to it at all. Then outside of that, you start dealing with the ramifications of an acidic product. You understand me? And we know what the deal is now. Everybody's talking about alkaline and acidity. So we understand fully well how the body functions, the environment that it needs, and make no mistake about it, the body needs some level of acidity but it's the right level of acidity. It Oranges has acid, that, lemons has acid. There we go. All these things but, have acid, but, but those, the liver takes it and converts it from acidity to alkaline. Ah. You know what I mean? If yep. that, you know, I hope that makes any sense. That makes it makes a lot of sense, man. Mad love and knowledge, man. We have to thank him. He's, he's actually gonna, we're actually gonna get uh, a cashew, what was it? The cashew with the cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger. Cashew, Raw cashew cinnamon. cashew, cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger. Ooh. And we use the water from the cane. So we get the thickness and the texture of something that has milk, but there's no dairy in it at all. And of course the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Cinnamon is excellent for blood pressure. The cashew is an excellent form of protein. The ginger that's in there is anti-inflammatory. So it tastes good, and yet at the same time it's good for you. Very healthy, guys. Yeah. This is why I come to my God, get my, even though I make my juices at home, I still stop and support the black yeah, business, support the black man, yeah, peace, and get man. the good, get Peter, the I just let the masses do their thing and okay. let the work speak for itself. Okay, okay. You know, you've got a couple samples, but let's let's do it again. Let's okay. walk you through it. Okay. Keep the glasses filled always. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So this is a green one. It's a spinach, pineapple, orange, and ginger. What I like about the, the green in particular 
Most people don't know that spinach has much more iron than kale. But it's ingested into the bloodstream quicker through vitamin C. So that's why we blend it together with the oranges. So that's a blended orange, a juice that you just tasted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just liquefy it to the point where it's fine enough so you can drink it and it's palatable. So it's, it's this misconception that most of us have been told that if it's good for you, it can't taste good. That's rubbish for me. You understand what I'm saying? I challenge that theory all day long. That's all what my, day long. That's exactly what my boy Brawley Game said. He said, um, yeah. He said, it's natural, but I don't know how he makes it taste. Good. But it's a gift from the Creator, to be honest with you. I don't have any formal culinary training, none of that stuff as well. I mean, I tell people who've spoken to me over the years that I tasted in my spirit before I tasted in my mouth. Wow. If that makes any sense. That, that's, you know that's what I'm deep, saying? So, deep, 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 so a lot deep. of times I never get a chance to taste it because people come by, come by, you know. <laughs> and you know, it's it's a good thing too as well. When you're doing something that you love, uh -huh. it's never considered work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. I'll do it out here. It's like a brother who's dropping hits on the mic. Right? An, an open mic for him is just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? You want to hear me? I'm ready. So for me, it's like 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning. You want a juice? Really? Okay, let's do it. And that's what keeps me going. That's your purpose, bro. Absolutely, that's, it is. That's it what is. it is. It's it's one of the divine purposes, actually. It's one of the divine purposes because most people don't make the correlation between what you eat and how you think. And I'm gonna just give you a quick, a quick little sort of a, a breakdown. If your heart's an organ, your liver is an organ, your kidney's an organ, it's not that far-fetched to understand that your brain is an organ too. Because if you eat, it affects the way how those organs work. How you eat will affect the way your brain works. And part of what your brain does as an organ is to think. And how we think, one of the very duty, many, many duties of that is to control our actions. So how you eat affects the way you think, how you think affects the way you act. So change the way you eat, change the way you act. And you change the way you act, you change everything. And it starts with the food, like you said. So oh, it's, food, it's, it's critical. It's deep, brother, it's critical. It's deep. What you eat <laughs> could, could determine your day. You know, um, it's, it's, come on, it, yeah. determine, it determines your life. It yeah. determines your output. I mean, that's one of the many facets because the way the Creator has made this man, and we as, as that chosen people, we must understand that there are certain things that we can't do that the other nations can. You understand what I'm saying? Get away with it. I mean, it's not a coincidence that we see our sisters and brothers, hypertension, yeah. diabetes, heart disease. Yeah. It's all back in the correlation between the diet and the lifestyle. And the deck is already stacked against us. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, it's incumbent upon us to understand, okay, if I'm going to go into battle here, these are the things that I need to put in or put on, it's my force field. You. you know what I mean? It's almost like Iron Man. You put on all this yeah. to get to ready to go into battle. And deep, part of brother, that is deep. nutrition. You know deep, what I mean? It's deep. not meant to be deep. It's just me regurgitating basically I, some of the convictions in which I, I uh, allow myself to, to follow. I'm going to ask you a question. You can ask me anything, brother. How, how long have you been doing this? Ah, it feels like I've been doing it all my life. But, I would say probably on a professional level, maybe about 10 years. Because it started off, it's, and it still is very much a labor of love. Meaning that I started off doing it for myself. For myself. And then people started asking like, Yo, can I have this, can I have it? And it's like, okay. And the validation of what I do comes from, what's up family, you good? The validation of what I do comes from this situation right here. So this for me is an abundance of wealth. When I see people that look like me, that represents me, and the masses that we really are pushing this for, this is my like, wow, okay. So this has come full circle. You know how, what I'm saying? how did you realize that, because you obviously you say you've been doing it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. How did you realize that this was going to be a passion for you and that you should, um, run with that passion because a lot of people you know work a nine to five job you know they do their regular you know my, my boss told me to do this i gotta run you know i feel like this type of job is you're, you're your own boss you get up and you probably you know 
make your own schedule. How you doing, brother? Yeah. Sabu, how are you, brother? See the love. Yeah, yeah, see you. the love from the community. Yeah. See the love from the community. Mm -hmm. But you make, yeah, you make your own schedule. You make your own recipes. You make your. Own. How did how did you come about learning that this was your passion? Well, it's, you a, it's, run with that? it's a discipline too. You know, make no mistake about it. Um, there is the business aspect to the artistic talent as well. So, um, how did it start? If I can give you a sort of a short version of it. Um, I used to be at a medical malpractice office for a minute. And I remember there was this West African couple that came in, herbs, palsy, and cerebral palsy that I used to deal with. And I remember, man, that the partners in the law firm, because the, the mother of the, uh, the, um, the infant that suffered the infraction was so hardcore about holding, up, holding out on what it is that the compensations that they were going to give her. But more so, I remember how they spoke about with such venom, man. You know what I mean? And part of that whole thing is reactionary. So I'm like, in my mind, I was like, okay, what could be done from a proactive, from a proactive position? Mm -hmm. In other words, when we suffer infractions, a lot of the times, it's because of bad nutrition or bad information. Mm -hmm. So, how can we get the information to the person or people that needs it the most so that we can input it into our system mm -hmm. so that we could prevent a reaction like that? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I can't be part of this. I can't be part of a system that benefits from somebody's misfortune. Mm -hmm. How do I put myself in a position that will be much more... How you doing, sister? How are you? It's a pleasure seeing you. Absolutely. Yeah. How can I put myself in a position of doing something that will be much more effective, that I can feel better sleeping at night, knowing that, okay, I put the information out there, I'm part of a system that will prevent something, rather than be part of a system that waits for an opportunity and then react. Oh. If that makes does that make definitely, any sense? It definitely makes, it definitely I, hope, makes sense. I hope it does. It sounds like you you said that you realized how the system is already uh, set up for, you, for us to be able to fail, and once you realized that, um, you wanted to work your way so that you don't have to be in that same system. And once you realized your own system and impl implemented that into your own system, that already yeah. gave an yeah. external yeah. 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 drive. This, this, this right this here, I believe, yeah. is a hospital. See, this is actually a hospital. Yeah, this I, is I a pharmacy. I couldn't do something just for money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. I couldn't make something. And with all respect to the people that have to do whatever they have to do, I thank God that He's put me in a position where one, it's something that I love, and at the same time, too, if the masters indulge themselves in it they would see results. So I live by three things principally. I think it's information, it's commitment, and then it's results. And when we see results from that, then it's easy. You apply that to anything and you will get results. What, what are these other ingredients that you so have let's, here? Let's, let's do it again. But, but let's, get, let's, let's see this brown so this, stuff right here. What's this so brown this stuff right a, here? This was a pressed, pressed sugar cane. Okay. Press, this one is a, a pressed juice. Pressed sugar cane. Yeah, pressed sugar cane. Got the sugar canes. I'm gonna I'm get the sugar uh, canes all over my there. brother to, to them. Where's your little cup, brother? Oh, you have it still? I don't want to make sure you do something to you. Oh. Yes, yes. Come on, camera man. It's gotta have his glasses filled too, isn't it? Yeah, man. I, I discovered this guy this summer. Mm -hmm. And there we go, brother. since then, he has opened up my eyes. Because I already told you I'm a chef, so a lot of ingredients I know that even though it tastes bad, you can incorporate it into meals so it can taste good. But the way that he does it with the drinks blew my mind, you know? Instead of sweetening things with sugar, even black sugar, brown sugar, anything like that, he uses sugar cane water. Ooh, amazing. All you doing, brother? All right. You looking for something for diabetics. Something for diabetics. Diabetics. Well, you, wow. we wouldn't necessarily have a juice off the top, but we will give you something that will help you that it wouldn't rise the, what's the type one or type two? Nah, it's just like a borderline. A borderline, he okay. Said, he said I got that Okay, so we want to make sure. I don't believe that. Well, I mean, part of it too is prevention. Yeah. 
you know so if it is the pancreas is not producing enough insulin or breaking it down properly just give me the whole drink i want to i don't want to taste it. the whole thing don't worry you it's sure brother go. all right brother you already know man you already know the thing you already know it's all good right, see what size yeah. you looking for brother what's your what's your size you got i got it over here i've got 12 ounces i've got 16 ounces got 32 ounces and half a gallon eight dollars ten dollars twenty dollars four times sure Trust me, do me a solid. If you can for me, just squeeze us, clean them one skinny stalk of sugar cane. I just for a demo so my brothers can see it being squeezed through the machine. Oh, okay. Please. This is my brother Prosper, by the way. How you doing, Prosper? I'm all right, brother. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you too, man. I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you know about IBS too? Are you talking to me, brother? Yeah. I'll wait for you. Okay. It's the sugar cane right here, man. Yeah. Look at what he's doing with the sugar cane. This is, it is to remove the outer layer. Outer layer, ah. The skin of the sugar cane itself and expose the interior side of the sugar cane. Ah. Because that's the one that's sweet. And also because we want the juice to become much clearer, then it, is, it makes sense to remove the skin. Ah. So you will see after we remove the skin how it squeezes the juice as you will be able to see it from this side here. Alright, so this is, this is the equipment machine itself. And this is how it's gonna squeeze the juice and we're gonna see the juice coming down and all the way to here. So oh that is awesome man. Yeah. And you can see the texture of the sugar cane after it's done. It's completely squeezed out. All the juice. Wow, this is beautiful. Mm. This is amazing. So now, now the juice is much more clearer. Mm. Now the juice is clearer now because you took off the skin. Yes. So we run it the second time. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. 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 all trying to get all the juice. Yes. Yeah. yeah, all yes. that juice. See? Out. see, all that extra juice come out. See that? Yeah. This is why I come to these guys, man. Can't go wrong. All natural juices. Um, a block away from my house. Bam Bam been staying with me, so I gotta put him onto the good juices. Look Word, man. Juice. He's like, damn. I'm so happy. He's like, damn, this is so good. <laughs> this is the battle for our own health, man. Exactly. We have only one body and we give it to everybody to feed it. But the people who feed the, our bodies, they don't care about us. The food that they prepare is very cheap. Oh, yeah. They will also buy cheaper items in order for them to make profit. But we make straight the juice, the way it comes from the sugar cane, as straight as it goes to the So, Ooh. it is waiting for you. Ah. That's the sugar right there, guys. Sugar cane juice. And the, 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 the sugar, sugar that itself. You, yeah. Because I tasted it, I'm like, man, I think this is a little too sweet. And um, Brody was like, it's, it's natural. I'm like, the thing about it is this. Outside of being natural, right? From a biological perspective, let's kind of break it down a little bit. Well, from a chemical perspective, really. Any stalk of sugar cane that you see, sugar cane, 85% of cane is water, 15% of it is soluble sugars. Now let's go to the biological aspect of the brain or the body itself. The central part of your nervous system is made up of your brain and your spinal cord. That's the central part of your nervous system. Now, there is something that's called cerebral spinal fluids. Guess what that's made up of? Salt sugar and other proteins that's metabolized in the body. So we, our brain needs sugar, but it's the right sugar that it needs. You understand what I'm saying? So that it can function at optimal efficiency. So this is the exact water to sugar correlation that the creator has made so that we can ingest it where it doesn't spike the internal levels. It's not refined, it's not processed. So you get all the nutrients that's supposed to be in there. When you get sugar crystals, it's squeezed sugar cane that they take and then they boil it. We know when we boil things what happens for the most part in situations like this. 
One, it becomes more acidic, and two, it loses all its nutritional content. So yes, it's being sweet, but there's no nutritional value to it at all. Then outside of that, you start dealing with the ramifications of an acidic product. You understand me? And we know what the deal is now. Everybody's talking about alkaline and acidity. So we understand fully well how the body functions, the environment that it needs, and make no mistake about it, the body needs some level of acidity, but it's the right level of acidity. It Oranges can't be has acid, that, lemons has acid. There we go. All these things but, have acid, but, but those, the liver those takes natural. it and converts it from acidity to alkaline. Ah. You know what I mean? If yep. that, you know, I hope that makes any sense. That makes it a lot of sense, man. Mad love and knowledge, man. We have to thank him. He's he's actually gonna we're actually gonna get uh, a cashew. What was it? The cashew with the cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger. Cashew, Raw cashew cinnamon. cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger. Ooh. And we use the water from the cane. So we get the thickness and the texture of something that has milk, but there's no dairy in it at all. And of course the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Cinnamon is excellent for blood pressure. The cashew is an excellent form of protein. The ginger that's in there is anti-inflammatory. So it tastes good, and yet at the same time, it's good for you. Very healthy, guys. Yeah. This is why I come to my God, get my, even though I make my juices at home, I'll still stop and support the black yeah, business, support the black you. man, yeah, peace, and get man. the good, get the